it scary like you thought it might not work out? Or yeah, it got lost in the post when they were delivering my visa. So it was all like, you're going, you're on the Walking Dead, it's happening, you're flying out to Atlanta in two days. And I was like, oh, okay. And I went to get a visa and the visa was approved. And it was all happening and then it just didn't show up at my house. And I had to make this really scary phone call to be like, I, I can't get on a plane tomorrow because my visa's not here. And I could just hear this silence over the other end of the phone, which was my agent's swing to just go, we'll do it. hits her head and has to like chill out in the infirmary for a couple of episodes because I, I wasn't there. Yeah. Do you think that was kind of a happy mistake or would you rather none of that happened and you got to be there right? I don't know. I, didn't, I wasn't really best friends with that headband that I had to wear for like, for like the next five episodes or whatever long I had to wear it. I was like, oh man. And now in every picture, look, it's like there I am with a headband on. I'm like, ah! Having uh, Connie, Lauren. yeah, Lauren Ridloff. It would be awesome to have her up on the stage with you guys. Did you know her already, or did you meet her doing this? So uh, I basically was told that I was gonna have a sister that was also deaf on the show. So I was like, oh cool, like I want to know how she signs, and maybe we can connect before getting on the show. Because if you're playing my sister, I want us to actually look like we have a real relationship as a family, um, and we actually connected first on Facebook, <laughs> social media, <laughs> and uh, started talking through then, and they started FaceTiming, and when I actually met her, I was like, oh, thank you. And it was just like, it was like we already knew each other instantly before we even having any conversation, like in person, which is really cool. You, you say you wanted to know how she signs, what, what do you mean by that? They're just different people have particular ways of signing? Yeah, so if you're from, a different area, or um, just even like I would hear there's a lot of people that know BSL, so that's why you have some different interpreters. Um, and ASL is very different. She's from New York, but also when I, I started learning sign before getting on the show, but I, I, mean, I wasn't fluent. Um, and she was actually helping me learn um, to better myself, also. So it was really cool. You think she's going to hook up with Daryl? If, I, I see there will be alone for so long that I just see him with dog. But if, if cause I, he only cares about dog, like, did you eat your one? No, but the dog ate, you know what I mean? Like, uh, but if he, if he ends up being with Connie, if that happens, then me and him's gonna have to have a talk, like, yo, don't mess with my sister, or I'll beat your ass. Mess your ass? Just yeah, I'll beat your ass. How do you guys, do you guys approve or no? How do you feel about that as Connie's friend? I'd like to see, uh, I'd like to see Connie and Daryl get together. I think that'd be a really sweet relationship. I think that she would like, uh, ground him in a lot of ways and, uh, help him be the leader that he's, you know, anti-hero journey is meant to be. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like it's it. already going on. It's already happening. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the chemistry is undeniable. Yeah, totally. It's amazing. <laughs> Just because they're, because he's like Steve McQueen, in the sense that he doesn't have to do much, you know? Like, like a, they can take all of his lines away, and he can just show up on a motorcycle and just be like, Ugh. And everyone just be like, Golden Globe! Yeah, same, and same thing with her. She emotes, she emotes so much with just her eyes. It's like they're perfect together. That's why. That's kind of why they work together because they're so in, in, 
into communicating with their intuition and their body language more than a lot of verbosity. They work really well together. That's why I think. What do you guys think? Over here, hey, what's your name? Hi, I'm Nika. Um, it's a question for all of you. Uh, I was wondering, other than obviously sign language, if any of you have had training and practice in the other aspects of your characters, like two of you have slingshots, if you've had training for those, uh, one of you does the burn arrow, and uh, Dan, you play guitar at the fair as well. Uh, have you actually had you know, practice and training for all of that? Guitar comes in handy when fighting zombies. It's just like a, it's just like a rock concert, like the Who. You just yeah, anything can be a weapon. Anything. Um, <laughs> put some spikes on. I don't know how to play guitar. I'm so sorry. I really wish I did. You was doing good. No, I, I learned Maybe from that. Maybe because my hearing aids. I don't play guitar. You made it look good. I know. I was told. I mean, you did a good actor. Thank you. I was acting like I was playing guitar in that moment, and there was a guy right off camera doing. I was just matching his hand strums peripherally. I was like, it looks like I'm on the same pace as him. Uh, but uh, I'm glad that I fooled you all. <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I don't know. I say. I could play a, a mean conga drum. It's a bad idea. What about bongos? All the weapons. Weapons. You guys weapons are more exciting. Cool. <laughs> Signature weapons. You got your knives. Are you training with that? We got training before we started shooting. Um, not a whole lot. Um, but I'm very ambitious, so I, I, I don't know how good I would actually be. The Walking Dead makes me look really good, but. I, I feel comfortable. Yeah. Do you like that? Were you happy stoked to see that was your weapon? So, yeah, so much. Especially no one on the show, I think, had it. That hasn't been thrown knife, so yeah. And also my machete, I like that I have both. It's kind of edgy. I hear a dangerous person. How are you with the bow? Yeah. Thanks, we're awesome. I'm very curious. Uh, the after they gave me a lot of training. But I've used the bow and arrow before because I did um, uh, Wonder Woman and Justice League and they kept handing me a bow, bow and arrow. People kept handing me a bow and arrow. Uh, and so I thought, well, I better get good at it. But that, that was a different one. That was like an, an ancient bow and arrow from the past. And like, this is now like a, a short crossbow. So it's a different beast. Um, yeah, I mean, I practice as much as I, I, I can. But of course, because you can't fire real arrows on sets, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of faking that goes on, and they do. They make us look really good. <laughs> so you just have nothing in the bow. Quite often, there, there's nothing in the bow, or like or like as, uh, the arrow will be tied to the string. So like when I release it, it will just kind of go and flop down. It doesn't look as cool. How about the slingshot? Uh, I actually had a lot of weapons training and. Um, martial arts training before even getting on the show. That was something my mom would put me in. Uh, oh, happy Mother's Day, by the way.
kill a walker with that? Yeah, I mean, we've been doing it. We've been doing it. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. It's awesome. They got soft heads, the walkers. Butter. Yeah. Pierce their head. Yes, exactly. Over here. Simply because um, 
my schedule with, you know, Fantastic Beasts, I was like, am I going to be able to even do another season? Um, and um, so, I mean, I still don't know. I still everything's up in the air, but I, I was like, if I could make it past that pike, you know, I'd be, I'd be happy, you know? Uh, and miraculously, I did, but to be able to, to know, okay, I make it past that episode, I at least make it to the end of this season. And, um, and then <laughs> just people on Instagram, like anytime I put anything up, people were like, yeah, I love your character. Too bad you're dying tomorrow. Like, <laughs> everything. And it was just like, yeah. Like, I couldn't react. And it was just so much like, yeah, good luck with your death. Like, how do you take that? You know, and then obviously after the episode, when I didn't die, Nobody apologized. I'm sorry, I screamed at you. Uh, nobody, nobody texted back or anything. Was just or Instagram in the comments. Was just like, sorry, I was so excited about you being on that bike. Anyway. Yo, yo, I, yo, wait. The crazy thing about it though is not even just that. It's like people comment wait, in and the, say, in the comment, oh no, the, no the, I'm sorry, I got to say. But people be like, oh.